I'll tell you what we can do, though. Star our own detective TV series. Okay. No. Really? Y- yeah. You, All right. Right? I was thinking about this. Obviously, the show would already have a bit of a gimmick, a bit of an angle, because of your detective past. As you know, um, you solved the Black Dahlia murder case very famously. You were the great mouse detective uh, in real life. You remember that, Jonathan? I know. You I did, did your not. tumbling act? No, I don't. What, what happened? When you, you revealed that Steve Buscemi was the Black Dahlia killer, and then you did tumbling for an hour on, on a stage, and Bill O'Reilly wet his pants because he was so yeah. impressed. Really? That sounds a little familiar. Like uh, like in the imagination. It sounds like a pretend time, but not a real time. No, <laughs> no, right? it, it definitely happened. Yes, this absolutely yeah. happened. For don't, real. It's don't possible. spoil it. This is what I need to tell HBO. Okay, okay. To get this to happen. Because Game of Thrones is in its off season, so we're going to get you in there. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded more insulting than I intended to. Um, cause I genuinely mean it. We do need you to be like the, the, the buffer, um, get you in before the breaking bads comes. Um, so we got to move fucking quick. So I'm pitching this new TV detective drama series. It's going to be in the same vein as your Columbo, Jonathan. It's going to be in the, the same vein as your monk. It's going to be in the same vein as your Dick Van Diagnosis murder. It's going to be in your same vein as murder what she has done. It's going to be in the same vein as Cadfell. It's going to be all this and more. And that one about the, the vicar priest man who solved some crimes for a minute in between giving a sermon. Okay. Right? Are mm-hmm. you excited? It's going to be one of those. You know, It's going to have some comedy. It's going to have some sex. It's going to have some thrilling mystery. Every episode, all the time, forever, until we die. <laughs> it's called... Yeah. Now, this is this is where we're going to raise heads with the executives. It's called Soda Baby. <laughs> what? How can that... Who's Soda Baby? You are! What? I mean, Obviously. I mean, you know, Monk is called Monk because the man's called Monk. Columbo's called Columbo because the man is Columbo. Kojak was Kojak. Kojak absolutely was Kojak. Murder She Wrote was Murder She Wrote. She, mm, she was, no. Yeah. yeah. And mm. Soda Baby <laughs> is Soda Baby. That's the theme tune, by the way. Soda Baby. And then the titles come up and then the show starts. Is that French accent? Soda Baby. <laughs> it really, it's evocative. It makes you feel like the you're chewing on... Shirts. Leotic of soda, baby. Did you say erotic? Leotic. No, I don't know about that. Of soda, baby. <laughs> it's not. It's not erotic. It's not a straight translation. You know, erotic. We're thinking. Oh, I'm a bit turned on watching this. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what it means. I think it's for the you know, it's for the house husbands and the housewives who are at home with baby. <laughs> at home with the make a house clean while the working man or woman or a dog goes out and does the office work a working dog yeah because these things always come on at least in the uk these shows would come on like the afternoon early afternoon watch a bit of Columbo. i was unemployed for a long time i remember it and you know the the terminally unemployable We'll also enjoy Soda Baby. Soda Baby. <laughs> so the, mm-hmm. the general gist is, you know how Kojak had his lollipop, Columbo had his dirty Mac, Dick Van Diagnosis Murder had his moustache, you will have your own sort of look, your own sort of, um, what's the word, presence, so that when people see you come in, they're like, oh shit, Soda Baby's here and I've gone and committed a crime. This is Hugo Weaving playing a villain. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Soda Baby's coming and I've committed a crime. Shit's gonna get fucking serious, mate. Is that Hugo Weaving from Priscilla, Queen of the Desert? I, I like that, Hugo Weaving. I don't know if he was in that. 
He was. It sound, oh. He sounded like that in that a bit. How many that was bits of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert? It's okay. It's got Zod and uh, Agent Smith being um, flamboyant, fun-loving uh, the female impersonators. I think they call them that movie. Yeah, it's not bad. So anyway, you waddle onto the scene of the crime. Mm-hmm. Wearing a big adult diaper, right? What? Why? A two-liter bottle of of soda under your arm, and a hat, and a detective's hat, a yellow Dick Tracy hat. And you waddle on, and you're like, "Yeah, watch the crime, boys." And <laughs> why do I talk like that? Nobody talks like that. Yeah, you've got a cigar as well. Yeah, watch the crime, boys. And I'll be there as, as uh, Chief O'Leary. Just, oh! Oh, Sergeant Baby! I'm so glad that you've come to her tomorrow now, Blarney Stone Limerick. There's been a murder. That ter naughty Hugo Waving, Scott and Sonnet. There was a witness to the crime. And he'll tell you all about it. And Conrad is there as um, Stoopy O'Lucky, who saw it and he's all like, oh, yeah, I saw the crime, chief. No, that's Hugo Weaving. Um, Conrad, help yeah, us. I don't know why yeah, I'm doing I, an impression I, of you. I, I, so- <laughs> I saw that. I, you know, honestly, I barely understood anything that's been said in the last, like, five minutes. <laughs> really? It seems really straightforward. Like, I'm a man what? who dresses you know, like a I baby. Think it's- I think it's just the the uh, European accents. My my um, my ethnocentric American brain can't process them as actual words. Um, okay, well, in this scene, I saw I saw the body. There we go. Yes, yes, body. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Jonathan! Uh? <laughs> You're gonna have to do it! I'm gonna have to uh, finish the soda baby pitch? Be, be soda baby! Um, have a conversation with Conrad, find out the crime! Uh, okay. Do it as soda baby! <laughs> Uh, a sort of baby talk like, Meh, right? Yes, so tell me about this crime, see? <laughs> Who's the guy who did the crime? <laughs> I, I have no idea. I just saw the body. No, oh, playing hard to get, are you? Time for me to drop these drawers and show you what I can do. And then I pee in the soda bottle. And then shake it up. And then spray it all over him for a, a pee-soda combo. Show him what I can do. Soda baby's signature technique. I don't know. This is. I'm. I'm going to. I'm going to call actual police now. <laughs> And then at that point in the episode, it's like, looks like another job successfully done. <laughs> but a soda baby. <laughs> and at that point, and this happens every episode, <laughs> you roll onto your back what? and kick your feet up in the air, your bare feet. Actually, you can wear little booties. Yep. <laughs> you, you fall backwards, like tumble backwards onto your back and kick your feet, your booted feet up in the air. Unscrew the soda bottle and just pour it all over your face and bare chest. Kick in while going go go ga ga hey Google yeah. While um bras fall from the sky and cover everything. Bras like braziers? Braziers. They just fall and music is like bah, 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 bah. Soda baby, soda baby. <laughs> It wouldn't be a hit. People hate a man who Dude, acts. I think like... the bras are going to be a hit because that's. Well, we'll do like bras. There's a, a reason for it because, like all good detective, gritty, urban crime thrillers, adds an element of sex. But 
Because we take great pains not to be objectifying sexist bastards. Mm-hmm. We don't want women there just being a piece of meat for Soda Baby to pour a bit of orange soda on. So we just throw brassiers down so people look at the bras and think, Oh, oh that's a lovely fucking bra, that. Oh, oh, come here, Marjorie, have a look at these fucking bras. I'm in the right mood to have sex tonight now. And it gets them in the mood, makes them feel sexy, because they're looking at loads of bras. And some of them are falling on lampshades and on uh, fire hydrants and on p- the police. I'm more curious about what Marjorie, what poor Marjorie is what I'm thinking. Some guys are, come here. I want you to see something that makes me hot. It's just some bras. Eh? Eh? Well, like, it's, a, it's, a, it's a married couple in the north of England, Marjorie and Frank. So she's and, just like, oh. No, no, because Frank's watching this. Oh, I was watching this episode of Soda Baby. I've got, oh, there's Soda Baby, played by Jonathan Holmes. He's kicking his legs. He's got little buoys on his feet. He's covered himself in orange soda. And I was, oh, I was like, that was a satisfying conclusion to another crime noir thriller. Then I saw all these bras all coming down. And Marjorie's all like, oh, well, I don't normally like to watch this kind of, of, of thing on the television, but. And bras are proper on it. Come here, give us a kiss on me vagina. Oh, no, Whoa! Do. That escalated quickly. She's also turned on by the bras. Loves she the could bra. just she could just look at her own bras. The bras are a big hit. She hasn't got any. <laughs> she doesn't she wear to, them. Had to sell them all because of Obama. 